hello everybody welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you a very easy hack i use to score 300 in jam and some little tips and tricks here and there that you might also find useful if you want to get better as a student this channel is definitely for you now this method i'm about to tell you it's basically how you can score 300 in jam using the speed accuracy and achievement method now this tip has worked for several other people in the past <laughs> i'm not the first so don't think i just came up with this idea overnight no it didn't work that way it was actually an idea i got from my favorite teacher in the physical tutorial i attended last year i attended stgei and stgei was like the best tutorial course they used to always anchor daily quizzes and you can even go home with as much as one five or one thousand lira if you are smart sometimes 500 you know and we used to do weekly tests we used to also do jam mock so i feel like all those things plus my own personal efforts also helped me to score 300 in jam before we move on to the speed accuracy and achievement there is another hack i used and that is my english now english language is an underrated subject I don't know why people don't study English. I've spoken to different people and some feel that English is hard. Why some feel like no be English, we go past. The thing is, just the way you study your physics, chemistry, biology, and math, I think you should also study your English because English can boost your mark. And for me, I did not even get up to 80 in any of my subjects, but I still made it up to 300 because I used this English as a hack now english is very easy all you just have to do is to study it the way you study for that subject all right so that is it for that and now let's quickly talk about what this speed accuracy and achievement really entails you just need a few materials all you need is your 40 list exercise book and your past question pack it's also called 10 years challenge because all you have to do is to answer 10 consecutive years in your past questions when it comes to speed all you have to do is to just select one year at a time so once you've selected a year now you decide to select 2020 and once you select that 2020 you're going to answer it you're going to use a limited amount of time i'll suggest to use 15 minutes for a start all right within that 15 minutes you try to be as fast as possible and you answer each and every question that you know you can decide to skip the ones you don't know and leave it for later if you still have time you can come back and answer it all right once the time is up all you have to do is to score yourself now what i i'm laughing because one thing about this particular aspect this speed is that you will fail you will so fail i failed very well so this was the part i did not enjoy at all because i'm the type of person that likes to get if i'm doing something i always want to be getting it if i'm not getting it i'll just be frustrated so please don't feel frustrated if you're doing your speed and you're getting stuff like 5 over 50, 10 over 50, 15 over 50. Don't feel discouraged. That was how I started. As time passed, I started getting up to 30 over 50. So it takes time. Don't feel frustrated. You're not the only one that is going to feel this speed because this speed is very difficult. The essence of using this speed is because speed helps you to be more and more time conscious. All right. So that is it. Let's move on to accuracy in this accuracy method i feel accuracy is just going to show you how well prepared you are for your examination now you're still going to answer that same year remember i said 2020 you're still going to answer it again but this time around no time you're going to do it at your pace just do it calm down relax and solve every single question right so once you're done you score yourself now this will show you how well prepared you are to write your jam examination all right so that is this once you've scored yourself and you you'll still have something like 20 over 50 then you still need to put in a lot of effort all right but if you're getting up to as high as 40 over 50 then i'm saying wow bravo you're doing good for me i never really got 40 over 50 <laughs> but yeah i still got up 30 over 50 35 over 50 and I was proud of myself because it's not easy. 
So any score you have, be proud of yourself, but be determined to get a even much better score. Let's talk about achievement. This is where the main learning process is done. I've actually studied people and one thing I noticed amongst us, the students, is that when we are solving our past questions, we, we, we tend to solve and cram the answer from behind the past questions. And that would not really yield much results. I know because I've done it and it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. I just have this way of, I'll just answer and I'll go to the back and cram everything. Like I was so good at cramming answers from the back of my question so that when I answer that question again, I will guess it. But if you ask me why exactly is that the answer, I will not even be able to answer because I was just cramming everything. So now, that is why when you're solving your past question, you have to know why the correct answer is correct. That is the main essence of achievement. You are going to learn why the correct answer is the answer. So when you are done, you've marked yourself for the accuracy, you use that particular answer. So the ones you got wrong, that's where your main focus should be. You're going to look them up. Don't just depend on the answers behind your past question. Some of them are wrong. Yeah, some are correct, but some of them are wrong. And some of them don't give enough details as you should actually know. So you might want to look it up on your textbook or ask your teacher in your tutorial or maybe a friend that is more academically sound. So that's what I would advise you to do. I would advise you to go to the internet because it's very distracting. Don't look it up on the internet. Ask somebody instead. And if there is nobody around that you can ask and you don't know how to find it in your textbook, that's the only time you're allowed to check the internet. All right? So that is it for speed, accuracy, and achievement. I hope you found value in that. And I hope you try it. So before we move on, I actually created a brainstorming section on WhatsApp. And if you are a science student, you might want to join because I'll be anchoring brainstorming sessions for all science subjects from monday to friday so you can just check out the link on the description box of this video all right so please join the brainstorming section because that is where we're going to be test running all these things mind you it is all free you're not going to pay a dime and i'm not going to ask you to pay any money it's all for free and i want to use this medium to thank stdai i'm really grateful to them because in fact this whole concept I talk about in this video is for them. They gave me and I'm putting it out to you in this video. All right, so a big shout out to SGEI. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more of these kinds of videos. All right, see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.